Hi, this vehicle came in for to get checked over for just general condition. They moved up here from a southern state down in the Gulf of Mexico. I had a really hard time getting this thing started just in the parking lot and for it to just stay running. One of the things I noticed when I first got it in here is as you see underneath the hood, you have this, this sheen of, of rust. You know, it's, it's all over the engine compartment. So, I went right to the cooling system on it, and I pulled it off. As you can see here, it is very cold outside. That's a Slurpee. And all the rust and sediment in there, that cooling system is now ruined. There's nothing you can do to get all that sediment and rust out of the, the, the system because what will happen is it'll, around the cylinders and the block, that's so bad, it probably has, you know, a quarter inch or more of just sediment lying in the bottom, you know, around the cylinders, and you just can't get that out. The only way to get any of that out is to actually disassemble the motor and dunk it, and, and nobody's going to do that. This vehicle is... It's a 99. It's got a lot of miles on it. I guess somewhere down in, in, in the south, they just used water instead of antifreeze. Uh, that's still not a very good idea. Right now, it's really cold outside. We're in the, the coldest streak we've been in in Northern Virginia in a long time. You really, really need to make sure that your cooling system's up to par, you know, in the winter. And even if it has the the long-lasting antifreeze, if your car's got around 50,000 miles or so, yeah, it's supposed to last to, to 100,000, but all that means is 50% of it's worn. And if it's five years, 50,000 miles, it really is, doesn't make any sense to, to not get that cooling system flushed and get some fresh stuff in there, especially since it's so cold right now. So if you got a car that's, you know, five to, to eight years old, you know, between 50 and 100,000 miles, bring it on in here and let us go ahead and do a cooling system service on that and get that thing top right back off to where it should be so you don't have to worry about something like this on a cold Northern Virginia day. That's Joe's uh-oh.